This is non-calculator question number 16. College Board gives us an equation and asks for one possible positive solution to this equation. So I'm going to distribute first x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth minus 5 times x cubed. I distribute the x cubed to both terms inside equals negative 4x. Then I'm going to add 4x to both sides giving me x to the fifth minus 5x cubed plus 4x equals 0. That 3 wasn't very neat. I have a common factor of x. I'm going to take that out. x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0. Now this is a familiar form. It's like a quadratic but a quadratic in x squared, so I know how to factor this. And I want to factor because if I can factor into a product that equals 0, then one of the factors will be 0. So I have x squared times x squared. I need two numbers whose product is positive 4 and their sum is negative 5. That would be negative 1 and negative 4. So x, x plus 1, x minus 1, x plus 2, x minus 2. That whole product equals 0 x by itself is going to give me 0, which doesn't work because I'm told x is positive. x plus 1 gives me negative 1. x plus 2 gives me negative 2. So either x minus 1 equals 0, which if I add 1, I get x equals 1. And on the SAT, I would stop there because I only need one possible solution. Or x minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides. x equals positive 2. I could bubble that in also and either answer works. If I wanted to check, 1 cubed is 1, 1 squared is 1. So 1 minus 5 is negative 4 times 1 is still negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is also negative 4, so positive 1 worked. Let's try positive 2. 2 squared is 4 minus 5 is negative 1 times 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. On the right hand side, negative 4 times x when x is 2 is also negative 8. So positive 1 and positive 2 both work. Either answer is completely acceptable. College Board often asks you to solve polynomials and usually the best path is to factor. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.